Hey guys, it's Miss Brandy from the Hillview Branch Library of the Bullock County Public Library System. And today we are going to make our own crystals that we can use to decorate around our room. New Year, we need something shiny. Okay, this is a two-day process, so be ready for that. Grab your mason jar. You're also going to grab some measuring cups. Some pipe cleaners. It doesn't matter what color. You're going to need some clear glue. You're going to need food coloring, of course. We want pretty colored crystals. Alum. And you're going to need some string. I got twine. You can use string, whatever you got, yarn. So what you're going to do is grab your pipe cleaner, grab your string, tie a knot around this, and you're going to form it into whatever shape you want. And this is great for older kids, and it's great for the younger kids. For the younger ones, you're going to have to help them in places, but have them tie the knot, have them form the shape. Those are both good kindergarten readiness skills. So I'm just going to do a loose ball around it. You can do whatever shape again. You can do a heart. If you're good enough, you can do a star. I still have issues doing stars out of pipe cleaners. But most people can conquer that. And then you're going to go ahead and cut your string. And you want to make sure that you're going to cut it long enough that you can hang it from the jar. And you're going to tie it around something so you want it long enough that you can hang it from that as well. So grab your clear glue. And you're going to dump your pipe cleaner into your clear glue. I put it in a Ziploc baggie trying to make it a little less messy. But of course, it's Miss Brandy. I'm going to be messy. You just want this nice and covered. Make sure all the area is covered as you can. And then you're going to grab your alum. And again, I dumped it into a bag. No one else had done this. But I thought it would be a better way to get it covered. So I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and covered. Other people had just taken the alum and shaken it over in it when they had it hung. So you can go ahead and hang it from whatever you're going to hang it from and just shake the alum over it. But I wanted it to be nice and covered. So what you're going to do now is you're going to hang it. You can grab two mason jars, two cups, whatever you got. Use a pencil. Just hang it like that. I had a basket around and it had holes in it and it worked perfect for what I needed. I just hung string across and hung my crystals from that string. But that is your day one process. You're going to leave that overnight. Ta-da! You can see that's left overnight and you can see the alum's really formed around it. So next you're going to take your mason jar and this is day two. You're going to take your mason jar and fill it with boiling hot water. And it doesn't matter the size. You just want your crystal to be submerged. And you're going to want to do one container for each crystal to give it all that room to grow, but also to get whatever colors you want in. So you can have multiple colored crystals to be able to hang around your room or hang from the window, whatever you guys want to do with it. So I watched a couple videos. I watched some, went online and saw some recommendations. I didn't want to do the borax. I chose to do the alum. They had this container. Do not fall for it. You need at least a cup of alum. What you all don't see is I get alum later and I mix in. You have to have like a cup of alum because you have to put three-fourths of a cup of alum with the boiling hot water. And then you're going to take your food coloring. And again, if you've been to my programs at Hillview, you know that this is part of crafts. It's part of science. It's part of everything. It's experimenting. We got to see what's going to make the coolest end product, right? So they said 40 drops of food coloring. Again, I would prefer to do 10 myself because you'll see how dark this gets. You're not able to see your crystals grow, which a lot of people do these overnight so you don't watch it anyways. But for me, I like to watch the crystals grow. So I would do less food coloring so you can watch your crystals grow. And again, we're going to learn as we go. I want to know your tips below in the comments. So take something and stir this together. And you're just going to stir until it's nice and combined. Okay, next you're going to take your crystals. 
And what I did is I just tape it to the side. But you're going to want to make sure that this is submerged. And then I just taped it to the side and I do the same thing with my other one. Use different colors if you want to. And that, you're just going to leave it overnight and you have crystals. I can't wait to see how your all's turns out. Put a picture in the comment below so I get to see them all. I'm super excited about this project. I hope you all are too. We just need a little happiness and prettiness around our rooms. Hopefully it's going to be a great year. Thanks guys.